Streaming now, this is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good afternoon, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're all having a great start to your Monday. The Grand Rapids Public Museum is bringing back its GR Stories series that takes interesting topics from the city's past and allows guests at the museum to learn a lot more about them. And Wednesday is no different as the museum is focusing in on the incredibly rich history of public health from Grand Rapids. And to talk a little bit more about that seminar, we are now being joined by the museum's curator, Andrea Melvin and Hannah Krebs, a student at Grand Valley State University who is very familiar with the topic. Ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks so much, Phil, for having us. Absolutely. And I guess just getting started, Andrea, if you wouldn't mind, uh, the GR Story series is uh, pr a pretty popular event amongst those who do attend the museum and it is now back. Uh, what is sort of the goal, just broadly speaking, of this program? Yeah, thanks so much for hosting us to share about this uh, this series. It's, it's an ongoing series, as you mentioned, at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. And the idea is really to showcase authentic stories from within the community. And so what that means is really what we're trying to do is, is create sort of a deep dive um, into different topics um, that have been, you know, happening in our community, um, are, you know, important topics in our community and give, um, you know, experts the opportunity to come in and share stories. Um, but then also a key component is to really have the community participate. And so bringing people into um, the museum or other settings um, around the community, because we've also in the past had some sort of pop-ups in different neighborhoods um, with these stories. And so, um, yeah, it's a really exciting um, and ongoing series. So um, we've got one coming up on Wednesday and it's looking to be very exciting. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, the one on Wednesday deals with the history of public health in Grand Rapids and that one will be at 6 p.m. on Wednesday as you said in the Meyer Theater but I guess kind of shifting a little bit to this specific seminar that is happening on Wednesday why public health why did you feel and the museum feel like that was an important topic to really discuss in this series yeah it's um it's something that is so important you know in this day and age public health um, but what we were also you know from the museum standpoint we were realizing that um, there's so much history too behind public health. You know, it's something that's being talked about in you know current day, but you know, in the past, Grand Rapids has been known um, for making a lot of strides in um, public health. And so we really, as we do at the museum, we look to the archives to see, you know, what what do we have here? What history are we preserving? What stories are we telling to do with public health? And so, um, you know, in fact, we were really inspired by um, one story specifically, and it was the work of Dr. Pearl Kendrick alongside another Michigan Department of Public Health scientist named Grace Eldering. And so those two women were significant scientists um, who are based here in, in Grand Rapids, and they worked on creating an effective whooping cough vaccine in the 1930s and 40s. And so um, we were just really inspired to learn more about, about that. And so um, fortunately, we looked to, um, with the thankful, thankful we had some great support um, from the um, Michigan Humanities. So this is actually a grant funded GR Stories event. And the reason why we looked for support like that was because we wanted to do some some um, research uh, within the collections here at the museum and also in our other archives around the city. And so um, we have an expert in our community, um, Dr. Carolyn Shapiro Shapin, who is a faculty member over at Grand Valley State, alongside some of her colleagues, Dr. Abigail Gatro and Dr. Matthew Daly, both in the history department at Grand Valley. And so we looked to get some info from them on these important scientists. You know, what, what's the story here? And um, we wanted to learn more. So that's really how this kind of collaboration with Grand Valley State University and students like Hannah, who's joined us today, um, how that kind of all started and came together. And um, we thought it could really, um, you know, the GR Stories model could kind of inspire um, more information to come out about these incredible scientists 
um, from our past, and then also maybe uh, you know uncover some new public health stories that um, have been lost to history. You know what um, what other stories are there out there in Grand Rapids um, that kind of connect with our public health history? So. I hope that answers your question. That was a really long answer, but there is so much incredible history here when it comes to medical research. And um, that's been something that the museum has been wanting to bring to the forefront with this project. Mm -hmm. Not even just so much in the past, but even today. I mean, you see it down Medical Mile, just the importance public health here has in Western Michigan. Uh, Hannah, I want to bring you into the conversation a bit. You know, Andrea said that this is a partnership with GVSU, you being a GVSU student. Can you talk a little bit about the process and what it's meant to really be a part of this program and working with the Grand Rapids Public Museum on this project? Yeah. Um, so I am a, a second year student at Grand Valley. So this has been a uh, really uh, good experience for me. I, I uh, wasn't quite sure of where I wanted to go in history um, before this, but I've been, I've gone to um, a bunch of different archives around Michigan and, and doing this research has really um, solidified my interest in, in uh, researching in history. Um, it's just been a very valuable and fulfilling experience to, uh, you know, get all these pieces and finally be able to put them together into something that uh, makes sense, makes a a, a story um, rather than, you know, just separated pieces of information. Right, absolutely. And can you touch on just about what is it about public health that really intrigues you or has really gotten your attention? Maybe it happened while you were doing research, maybe beforehand. I know uh, when I was looking more into this story, the uh, you know, I'm not from Grand Rapids. I'm originally from Memphis. I've been moving around a lot, so I'm not that familiar with the history of it. Finding out that Grand Rapids is the first city in the U.S. to put fluoride in the water was incredibly interesting to me. So I just kind of want to hear what is so intriguing about public health and the history here in Grand Rapids to you. Yeah, well, so I've always been interested in um, like gender history. And so my project is um, focusing on how the women involved in, in making the whooping cough vaccine in Grand Rapids, how, how being a woman sort of impacted that process. Um, and it's been really interesting to see how different, like certain fields in science, and especially in public health were uh, more welcoming to women than others. And, and uh, part of that is how this vaccine was actually able to be made in Grand Rapids. There are certain fields like um, nursing and bacteriology and epidemiology that tended to be more, um, uh, accept more women into the field. Uh, so, so it's just been interesting to see how public health and gender uh, intersect here. Mm -hmm. Right, definitely a lot more components than just the public health aspect in this mm -hmm. research, I can assume. Uh, kind of just staying on the same path, this question's for both of you. Uh, what can people expect if they do come out to Meyer Theater at the Grand Rapids Public Museum on Wednesday to check out this history behind the public health here in Grand Rapids? What can people sort of expect to see? What are going to be some of the components of the program, all that good stuff? Yeah, so um, the components would be really um, coming and enjoying some food and beverage, I will say, we're including <laughs> that. Um, it's a very welcoming uh, space at the museum, so we'll be um, presenting, having presentations from students, three of them, like including Hannah's presentation, which she just described, um, really touching on the gender components of public health. Um, we've got a couple other presenters that are students from Grand Valley, their topics are a little different. Um, but, you know, all about public health history in Grand Rapids um, and exploring archives that are here. Um, we are going to be, uh, you know, having those presentations happen. And we also will have moderation from those faculty members at Grand Valley that I mentioned, including Dr. Carolyn shapiro Shapin, who will be, um, you know, leading kind of a QA and a um, between the uh, guests to the event and the students. And interestingly, we will be filming this event. And so this will be available after it's over. So if people can't make it, but still want to learn more, they can visit um, the museum's website and we'll learn how to access that video. Um, we will, uh, you know, be, be, the other reason for really this video um, is to archive the history that's documented on this event. It's a very significant thing to be able to 
you know, to hear the stories from community members. I suspect there'll be some that will, you know, work in public health um, or maybe even knew these women um, who were scientists here in Grand Rapids. Um, and so, yeah, I think it'll be a really exciting um, and enjoyable evening. And Hannah, if you wouldn't mind just kind of touching on a little bit, don't give too much away. We want people to <laughs> kind of be uh, intrigued by it, but talk a little bit about your presentation at this seminar. What are some, what are some things people can expect there? Yeah, um, so I, uh, as I said before, I'm, I'm focusing on uh, the uh, gendered aspect of how that affected the development of the whoop and cough vaccine. Uh, so, th so there's kind of two main points of interest here. It's, it's how how is this vaccine uh, developed uh, in Grand Rapids, um, which is something I've, I've talked to a couple people from Grand Rapids. They're like, oh my gosh, I had no idea uh, this was created here. Um, and the second component is um, the, the stories of these women involved and um, how, how they got there and how um, they were able to accomplish such a thing uh, right in the middle of the Great Depression. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Right, no, definitely very exciting stuff. Again, for everybody watching, a reminder that this is a free event at the Grand Rapids Public Museum in the Meyer Theater, and that starts at 6 p.m. The doors will start opening up about 30 minutes before then, and we have all the information you need to know about this presentation and program, and GR Story Series as a whole over on our website, woodtv.com. Andrea, Hannah, thank you so much for coming on the live desk this morning. Thank, thank you for having us. And I want to thank everybody else for tuning into this latest edition of the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm Phil Panarski, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.